with that, let's get started. Mr. Fetterman, we're going to begin with you. Your political experience includes serving as the mayor of Braddock, a small borough near Pittsburgh, and one term as lieutenant governor. You're running for a seat that could decide the balance of power in Washington. What qualifies you to be a U.S. Senator? You have 60 seconds. Hi, good night, everybody. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. He's running to use Pennsylvania. Here's a man that spent more than $20 million of his own money to try to buy that seat. I'm also having to talk about something called the Oz rule, that if he's on TV, he's lying. He did that during his career on his TV show. He's done that during his campaign about lying about our record here. And he's also lying probably during this debate. And let's also talk about the elephant in the room. I had a stroke. He's never let me forget that. And I might miss some words during this debate, mush two words together, but it knocked me down, but I'm gonna keep coming back up. And this campaign is all about, to me, is about fighting for everyone in Pennsylvania that ever got knocked down, that needs to get back up and fighting for all forgotten communities all across Pennsylvania that also got knocked down that needs to keep get back up. Thank you very much, Mr. Fetterman. Mr. Oz, you are a doctor, a businessman, and television personality. But this is your first run for elected office. What qualifies you to be a U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania? You have 60 seconds. I'm running for the U.S. Senate because Washington keeps getting it wrong with extreme positions. I want to bring civility balance all the things that you want to see because you've been telling it to me on the campaign trail. And by doing that, we can bring us together in a way that has not been done of late. Democrats, Republicans talking to each other. John Fetterman takes everything to an extreme and those extreme positions hurt us all. Let's take crime as an example because it's been such a big problem. Maureen Faulkner accompanied me today to the studio. You know that her husband was a police officer in Philadelphia, he was brutally murdered. John Fetterman, during this crime wave, has been trying to get as many murderers convicted and sentenced to life in prison out of jail as possible, including people who are similar to the man who murdered her husband. He does it without the, with the rest of the parole board agreeing. He's doing it without the families on board. These radical positions extend beyond crime to wanting to legalize all drugs, to open the border, uh, to, to raising our taxes. I want Washington to be civil again. Well, you need it to be less radical. John Fetterman, unfortunately, okay. would bring that. Mr. Oz, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.